Hello, welcome to Switch Non Gaming. Paul speaking, and we're looking at a new Nintendo Switch game today. That is Infinite Golf 2. This came out on the 8th of July from Petite Games. I'm going to set you back $4.99, £4.49 at the moment. We're just going to dive straight in and show you some of the classic single player mode, and then we'll come back in a second and look at some of the other options. So, this is a, a 2D golfing game, physics based, uh, quite a simple game. Uh, basically, you're trying to get the ball over here into the flag towards the right there and using your, your left stick here the more you're sort of um, pushing your, your your left stick in an analog fashion is increasing that line that's how hard the shot's going to be and then you press a to take your shot and you end up in the water a little bit like that so you need to try and get the ball in that sort of dip that's the hole there the sort of big square underneath the flag judge the power that should be enough so that's three now this is the classic mode which is basically uh, an infinite number of procedurally uh, proce procedurally generated courses and it's meant to be a relaxing experience so there's no real sort of score as such uh, let me just play this hole it's the danger of procedural generation I suppose um, yes, yeah, so there's no real sort of score as such in this mode. It's more about having a relaxing time, just chilling out, seeing how many uh, holes you can get through. Oh, holding one. Maybe uh, stick it on while you're listening to a podcast or something like that. Watching TV. Oh, that was close. I'm in the sand. Oh, that's no good. Oh. Jumping over the other side. Now there is other modes. We'll go and have a look at those other modes in just a second. I just want to do a couple more holes. As you can see, it doesn't take long to get through them. That wasn't a particularly good shot. Don't roll back into the sand. But some of the other modes do add more of a competitive edge. And uh, offer something a little bit different. There is also a local uh, multiplayer element for one to four players. And in that, all four players take their shots simultaneously somehow achieve backspin then not quite sure how maybe hit a tree uh, let's have a look at some of the other modes oh there's a nice little chip in let's say that will just continue as the name suggests that's infinite just uh, procedurally generated courses that will just go on and on multiplayer as I say it's local can be played with split joy cons we've got this uh statistics page I'm not sure what's going on with the play time because it seems to tick over while you're also uh, got the switch off but also I've played about well the last time I looked at the play time it was on about 50 minutes so I'm not quite sure why it's now gone back down to 14 um, so there is some basic stats there so the balls that you've hit into lava balls out of bounds the best score you got in arcade and the best time attack score so there is something to play for but Probably my favourite mode is probably the arcade mode. So we'll have a look at that quickly. In this, you get three shots to get your ball in the hole. And you kind of get a pass score for each you get in. So that's a holding one. So I'll get three points for that. You basically get three points if you get it in one, two if you get it in two, one if you get it in three shots. You can see the uh, the counter at the top there. The little balls in the middle showing how many shots I've taken. That's got to go in, otherwise I'm in trouble. And there's game over. Let's have another go. As you can see there, my best score is 11. Ooh. Now these courses appear to all be the same and these don't appear to be procedurally generated, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's have a look. That's a tricky one. Hitting up here. And again, got to hit it this time. No. Maybe one more go of the uh, arcade mode. And then uh, we'll have a look at the time attack mode. Ooh, 
works. It's close to holding one. This is the one that's causing me problems. Let's go higher. Get a good bounce. Oh, there you go. Holy months. That's another three points. So I've got five so far. When the levels do start to get tricky is when lava comes into play. Because if you hit the ball in the lava, you immediately lose your ball. Hitting it into the sand isn't too much of a problem. It just sort of sticks there. But once lava comes into play, you're in trouble. Oh, it's out of bounds. Now, if this game's going for a relaxing experience, I would say one thing is missing. A shot is a soundtrack all it's got really are these ambient sort of forest sounds another hole in one well that's a high score that's 12 um yeah it could do with some like really chilled out music to really give it that relaxing vibe i mean it is quite a budget game as i say it's under five pounds so i'd imagine you know sticking music in of any type is going to cost a little bit of money oh that's over here that's out of bounds and it's going to roll oh it's going to stay in bounds but I've got to get it in this shot no there's no uh, touch screen either by the way I've tried that there isn't a touch screen option so we're going to have a look at the last uh mode now which is time attack mode which is similar to the arcade mode but you get 30 seconds to putt the ball oh what a shot and then for each ball you putt you get five seconds added to your time and again it's just a case of seeing how far you can get before you run out of time my best score so far on this apparently was three Oh, that's a tricky one. Just, I oh, just wanted to clip the uh, the top of that hill by the flag. It's hard to, oh dear, it's hard to get out of water. Um, yeah, the amount of shots you take don't really count in uh, in time to wait. It's just basically how many holes you can complete before your time runs out that's going to go beautiful when you play uh multiplayer by the way as i say it's local but you can oh there's a dreaded lava uh you can set a number of things like gravity handicaps that sort of thing yeah these lava levels always do for me look at the ridiculous patch of land you've got to land that ball on yeah, there we go, six. So, there you go, there's the modes. So, it's not a huge amount to it. It's quite a relaxing game. It's obviously a budget game. Um, you know, it's a, a decent enough distraction, but whether it's enough to hold your interest long term, probably be determined. It's quite a shame what I said about the music because it's got some quite nice, relaxing, soothing music on the title screen here. But, um, doesn't seem to be any option to have music in the game, so it's a bit of a shame. I think that would have added to the relaxing ambience, certainly, of the classic mode. Where I say you do just get these ambient noises. But that's Infinite Golf 2. Came out on the 8th of July. So it's on the eShop now. Check it out. And uh, let me know what you think below. Leave me a comment if you're going to be picking this one up. And a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video please. That would be most appreciated. Subscribe if you're new and all that good stuff. And I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.